right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do the watercolor onto the fabric. I think it'll be best to do it this way so then you have enough time for it to dry before you put the embroidery pattern on. Um, so what we're gonna do is you're going to dip your brush in some water and you're just going to start wetting your fabric. And I would not be stingy with this because fabric definitely absorbs most of the water and you want your paint to be, to look like watercolor, not to look super harsh. So I've got a good chunk done on this side and you're going to wet your paints and do whatever color you'd like. I'm going to mix some green, I think with a little bit of purple. Drop my paintbrush. I want it to be kind of like a bluish green. That's really pretty. So you're just gonna start laying down some paint on top of where you put your paint or your water. And if you make a mistake or you feel like it's too harsh, you can add water on top of it and it'll spread it. See how that lightens it up? So now I'm gonna go over to the next section. I like the way that's looking. I like that it's kind of bleeding on the edges and that's what making sure you have enough water will do for your, for your um, paint. And if you want, you can also do like half and half color if you want, or do like a rainbow effect. You can kind of let the colors bleed into one another. So I might do, I think I'm gonna have the purple kind of bleed into the blue that I just created. So I'm just gonna use straight purple for this. And that's got a little bit of blue in it. <laughs> You know what, now that I'm realizing it, I think it's more of an, like an indigo. <laughs> yeah. When it was dry, it looked purple. So I'm gonna try this purple. Yeah. And I am not like a watercolor artist, as you can see. <laughs> I'm just kind of laying down colors. I want it to look super just watery and colorful. And you can fill in whatever area you want. If you only want the watercolor to be on part of the canvas, that's fine too. I'm just doing like a little circle inside the hoop here. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on the edge here to kind of bleed it out. I think I like that. All right. So you're gonna have that just air dry for a while and we'll go over how to design your pattern and transfer it onto the fabric in the next video.